when Los Angeles Unified students return for the first day of the new school year on Monday, August 15. One of the first things they'll notice is their ability to walk straight onto campus without having to flash a QR code, obtained after completing a health check screening on the district's daily PA. The district has ditched that policy, which was in effect last year, and loosened other COVID-19 protocols for the 2022-23 school year. But revisions to LA Unified's pandemic-related measures isn't the only change students, families and staff can expect in the new school year, which will begin with a projected enrollment of 520 000 students, including students in charter schools, and a properly credentialed teacher in each class. That doesn't necessarily mean every classroom will have a permanent teacher in place, however. It was unclear how many classroom teaching vacancies remained on Friday, August 12, though the superintendent had said on Monday that there were fewer than 200 vacancies, and that more than 500 out-of-classroom employees with teaching credentials were ready to fill those spots temporarily if need be. So what can students, parents and staff look for in the new school year? From enhanced campus security measures and more early education programs, to the rollout of electric school buses and new cafeteria menu items, below is a rundown of some changes and new initiatives awaiting the LAUSD community. No more weekly coronavirus testing and non-more regular daily pass check-ins are perhaps the two most obvious examples of scaled-back COVID-19 restrictions this year. Additionally, indoor masking, while highly recommended, remains optional, just like in this past spring. Instead of weekly testing, the district has switched to response testing, meaning only individuals with symptoms or who were exposed to an infected person will have to be tested. And for anyone still wondering, the district's student vaccination mandate has been put on hold at least until next July, in line with the state's plan to implement its own vaccine mandate. The deadly mass May shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, less than three months ago is not far from some people's minds as the new school year begins. A day after the shooting, Carvalho announced plans to expand its safety procedures, review its communication protocols and invest in technology to enhance campus security. This week, he said that over the summer, the district drafted agreements with 13 municipal agencies to provide augmented safety and security in schools, 